<laughs> Happy Thursday, slotheads. Yeah, it's been a little bit. I wanted to show you a little something I got in the mail today. Not that you can't already see it. Yes. We're good. See, he's got a hole for himself. Anyway, uh, after watching there was Harry and George's videos several times, and then the talk going around every, on, on all the channels is to build one of these cars for that showdown. And I thought, you know, I, I wanted to do it originally, and I was a little upset about it. Probably just nervous, that's probably all it was. And then I decided, you know what? Take the chance, man. I, you know, you can, you can only do, you can only mess up so many times, right? And then you'll figure it out. So I got the chassis. I ordered the uh, ceramic uh, frame here for putting all the pins and stuff in. I got me a set of pins. Um, I don't know how many I needed. Uh, from what I've seen in George's videos, I only needed a few, couple of them here and there. So I just got the one set. I can get more later if I have to. Um, I already have uh, soldering iron and solder. I need to get some flux. I also need to get one of those uh, uh, calipers. So I can do the measurements. I haven't picked one up, but I can probably pick one up at Lowe's. Or I was supposed to be picking up some lumber tomorrow for my layout anyway. Uh, so I'll probably pick one of those up. And, uh, yeah. So this is my new countertop, by the way. Uh, I don't know if I can span out enough or not. Uh, uh, it'll be something I show in another video. Anyway, it's two and a half feet wide. Uh, I think it's 3.3 and a half inches in length. That's not right. No, five, five feet. I put it at five feet. That's what I put it at. And I put a shelf that I had over on the small one. And anyway, this is my my new layout. It's it's still a work in progress. I don't know where everything's going yet. Um, put the light up here a little bit. Maybe you can see more. But I got shelves here, three shelves here, and I plan to put some more shelves above all that. I've got my tire truer right there. Um. It's plugged in, got my printable paper cutter, power supply. I still got to bolt that down. Uh, I got my Alexa back here in the back. Anyway, I went off subject. <laughs> so for the showdown, I'm only going to enter one car. And I've decided to go ahead and I already talked to Harry about this on a Friday late night or a Saturday late night. I'm not sure which. Uh, I thought about it after I sent the the message uh, I talked to on Facebook Messenger. I thought about it after the fact how late it was. I was like, ah, you may not answer it. That may make you mad. I didn't want to do that. I don't want to wake somebody up. But he was more than happy to help me. And this is what I went with. I sent a picture to him so I knew I had the right car. This is the Frostbite 1955 Chevy Bel Air Street Machine. Uh, it's actually part of a Road Chill series, four out of six, which I looked on eBay. I can find uh, four out of the six. I can't find the other two, but so th those may be future cars because they they have a cor couple Corvettes, uh, a must. I think it was a Mustang, uh, a GTO, but they all come with the stickers. Uh, this box was beat up when I got it. It was still wrapped in the plastic, but you can still see water may have gotten to it a little bit or something or another. Uh, but here's the body. <laughs> Uh, I, I had a paint scheme figured out for this car, but you know, looking at this car, I'm thinking, man, I wonder if you could use that pink. <laughs> uh, except it's got, you know, it's got a little blemish on the hood here. I don't know if you can see it in this camera, but it's right in there. But, uh, <laughs> like, that'd be kind of cool. You know, maybe paint the, you know, like the 55 Bel Airs, maybe put some black or something right here, or put the white. Pink and white would, yeah, kind of girly, but, you know, <laughs> we're supposed to be the new age of men, right? Anyway, uh, good little kit. Uh, what I did like, I was going to, uh, today I was thinking about it. I was like, well, how am I going to get the motor? Because I knew I had the motor hood on the top. I was like, how am I going to get the motor to stay on there? Well, looking at the the interior kit. It actually has the mount to the motor right there. So by the time you mount that in, that should come up right through there. Uh, if I can't see as well, I can't. But I was like, okay, so that works out well. Because um, I was worried about the slot, the guide, 
uh, when you finally get it all together, when I get that far, uh, I want to make sure that it, you know, this is not going to be an inhibitor. Now I could just, the great thing is it's still attached on this side. So even if I had to cut this off, I could maybe, maybe glue this up underneath the hood here. So I think it's still a workable program, no matter what. Um, I just thought it was funny. It was pink. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you know, I got some work to do. Uh, it's a snap kit. So, you know, it's, it, it you just snaps together. But uh, I figure uh, you might have to do a little gluing, you know, because you don't want to. I don't want it to uh, make it to Harry's track. And then one fatal sweep it sweeps off the table or sweeps on the corner of the table because, you know, it's just so fast. <laughs> it just. Uh, Wipes out, and the whole car falls apart. I mean, we could, you remember those crash-up derby cars back in the day? They had the little rip cord, and you ran them to each other, and they broke into a million pieces. Kind of kind of the same thing. Now, wouldn't that be fun? You could, If you had an old, uh, you know what, you, if you could do it, you could probably do it. You could probably make a slot car track two straightaways and have a dead spot in the middle where the two cars intersect and hit each other and, and, and see what kind of damage you could do to them. Would that be fun? I think it would be fun. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm not talking buying your uh, Revo slots and stuff like that, but, you know, maybe, uh, you know, I don't know, uh, some old uh, cars that, you know, are damaged already or something like that, and you just, they're beat up and you want to just have some fun with them. You could, uh, yeah, have an electric current on one side, have an electric current on the other side, and they stop at a certain point, and that, that spot there is where they're going to collide, so you can have them come from both directions collide and boom and see what comes off <laughs> what about that roll you can put that in a halloween special if not i'm gonna do it but uh i don't have any cars to do that with yet i'm still too new to this <laughs> oh man uh, you come up with some crazy ideas let me tell you <laughs> uh but anyway <laughs> let's get, get back to the nature of business here <laughs> <laughs> uh, I crack myself up sometimes. I'm my own uh, best client, I guess. Anyway, uh, I had a guy, had, you know, I got that Revo slot the other day and I got it on the track. I washed my track down and blah, 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 blah. That, it actually did all right on the track. Uh, it's a, I had to really tone down the speed on it. Um, so here's where I'm at on that. And I, I, and I know you guys are going to tell me I'm I'm crazy, but... Obviously, I'm not good enough at tuning cars right now. Uh, I can only get better, of course. But I am not buying any more Revo slots until I can figure out how to do them. Um, they're not any fun for me. Uh, I've done what I can from watching videos and, you know, put some tires on them and I've lubed them and changed the guide. Well, I haven't changed the guides in the Mercedes yet. Uh, I even put the one... The one the, mag the one magnet that comes with it into the car is trying to make it, and I moved it around, and I bought weight and tried to put it around the car. I just can't control the cars. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Um, but, I'm you know, everybody's talking Revo slots all the time. I don't find them that much fun. Now, NSR, I love NSR. I haven't had any issues with the NSR cars. Um, yeah, they're a little fast. and They get a little squirrely, but I can control them. Uh, you know, and I can tune them really... They seem to tune a lot easier for some reason. Um, yeah, the Revo slots, I'm not... That's why they're sitting over here in the corner. I, I don't even have them up on my display stand anymore. Because eh, one of these days I'm going to tinker with them. But anyway, the MP slot cars are here because they broke right here. I had to glue it together. That was not fun. Uh, I don't use half a tube of glue trying to... Super glue trying to hold that thing in place because it just would not stay together. Anyway. Ah! See, now I'm going on a, vent, uh, a venting session. That's not what I wanted to do. But I, I am excited about doing this. Um, I really need to get started. Uh, so I will be watching a lot of videos. And George has some great ones uh, over there at uh, Area 51. Hangar 1. Or is it Hangar 2? Ooh. See, that's what happens when I start talking on a video. Anyway, I digress. Uh, but I've been watching his videos. Now he's got some lines on his. I don't. I'm sure he put them there at some time or another for a reason. And I think he even explained it in the video. But I'm gonna watch it from the beginning. Uh, his series, and I'm gonna try and watch as many as I can. I, I 
I, I'm not going to, this car probably will not be perfect, but I'm going to try and get it as close to it. So while I send it to them, eh, you know, they don't go, man, look at this piece of crap. You know, uh, where'd he learn how to solder? What, what the heck was he thinking? You know, and I get the worst car in the category. <laughs> they'll, they'll actually make it an award for it because mine was so bad. Anyway, so I haven't opened this kit yet. Uh, I'm not going to until I'm ready to start. Uh, I know it's all in bags. I've seen uh, Marty's channel uh, two lines uh, yesterday, and he should be getting the rest of his stuff in this week. Um, and I've seen everybody. Else. I've seen you know, uh, yeah, George and Harry's on HRW, which it's funny because I have some HRW stickers. I'll probably end up putting that on my car somewhere because I do have those from. Uh, uh, yeah, that's right slot car corner they're small and i bet they fit right on here in a nice they're a little water i think they're water i'll have to look at them anyway so i can represent when my car goes over to maybe his table here in january anyway guys uh i want to make this short i have to do another video you'll probably see another one coming out it's a, a video probably most have seen but a, a gentleman asked me about putting a chip in my uh fat turbo i don't want this in I don't want to lay it on there. In my fat turbo, the, uh, the SP43. Now, mine's out, uh, and there's a reason for it. I'll explain it in my video. But I, I am going to show him how to put this in and take it out. Uh, it's pretty simple, uh, but, you know, he asked. I, I said I would do it, and I, I plan to do that. So if you already know this one, you don't need to watch the, the next video, which will be, I don't even know what I'm going to title it. But anyway, uh, I'll just put SP43 whatever but uh for any of you out there because you know we I, I tend to forget just like everybody else that you know there's a lot of new people to this hobby it's a great hobby uh there's a lot to learn as a matter of fact i i'm not even close to knowing nearly a tenth of what's probably out there um i just go with the flow i'm learning as everybody else is uh just maybe you know if you're just starting up i've just been doing it just a little longer i started the uh, I've had a track for three years. Uh, I started actually getting into it uh, end of last year, beginning of this year. So, and then I started my own channel, and, and I'm not one to be in front of a camera. Uh, I'm kind of a, you know, I don't know. I don't have a problem being in front of a camera, I guess. I don't have any reason to be. But anyway, for now, I like not being in front of the camera. So, anyway. That, that's another video. <laughs> I've already made this video 12 minutes and 51 seconds long just because I taught, brought this into the category and I can't ever shut up. So, I'm going to shut up now and you all have a good night and I will see you over at uh, Salt Valley Racing tonight. He's got a special guest, Raul from Conquest Racing, on a live stream tonight and hopefully they're an HO side and, you know, hopefully the one, we're trying to merge everything because isn't it all just about slot cars? I think we all, I think we like all scales of slot cars. Matter of fact, I, somebody said that the other night, and I said that would be a great name for the whole group, all scale slot cars, you know. And, uh, but I don't really believe in the membership crap, you know what I mean? So, anyway, I'd love it if y'all joined us, uh, anybody who watches this. And it is Thursday, so Thursday the 26th. I think it comes on at 7 o'clock tonight, uh, according to my time here in uh, South, uh, South, uh, Indiana. So I will see most of you there and talk to you soon. Ciao. Oh, that was MP's line. See, I looked at his sign. Bye, guys. Ho, 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 ho.